So once you've created your top box curve, let's open up Edge Cam. We'll open it. I call mine Curve 2 because I have a different example for Curve 1. So if I right click and drag, I can move the box around. Then we go to Auto Stock. You've done this before. Make sure Auto Stock is selected. Click OK. Remember, you can pause this at any time if it feels like I'm going too fast. Then you can create the CPL as a shortcut button. You can also go into Geometry and do Create CPL. Click Origin, through three points, and we click OK. Now, I tried this before, and it didn't work with this little um, fake CPL over here. I actually have to turn mine around. So if, if yours doesn't work, just try it again on a different orientation. But it needs to be lengthwise and in the bottom left corner to mill this. So I click my first point. Second point is over here third point is here and you notice I'm always rotating it so the point is in space it ensures that I'm not clicking somewhere inside the box so you can see my red X line there my green Y direction line and my blue Z direction line everything looks good then we do feature finder make sure it says auto click OK and it has identified that there is in fact a part here um, 2D boss is just the rectangular box around it so we're not going to use that when we mill. Let's click the manufacture mode, top right corner. Make sure it says mill and Prolate 1000. Click OK. And this time I'm going to do a parallel lace. Parallel lace allows it to follow contours. So we click parallel lace. Uh, you cannot do the 2D boss this time. It won't recognize that. You actually have to click the surface. And that selects the entire thing. So I click once, hit the Enter key twice. And we want this to be optimized. Optimized means that it mills in both directions. It goes right, and then it comes back left. Right, left, right, left. That basically mills twice as fast. A 25% step over will um, give you a cleaner look. If you did a 1% step over, it would be incredibly clean, but it would take 25 times longer than a 25% step over. So you'd be in the milling room for um, hours and hours. So let's keep it at 25%. Um, don't go lower than that unless you're willing to spend a lot of time in the milling room watching it. I'm going to set my angle at 45 degrees. I think default is zero, and it would mill. You can see in a straight line, basically like the picture says right now, like a straight line. And so if that's how you want it to look, then great. If you want it to have sort of a, a more unique milling angle, because you're going to see those lines in there, then set it to 45. So we'll do that. Lead radius just means it's going to pick up the milling bit at the end. That also makes it a little bit more clean. So I'm going to set mine like this. Your um, angle, you're free to make that angle whatever you want. We go to tooling. Feed rate is 40, plunge feed is 20, and speed is 6,000. The diameter is a quarter inch bit, but we're using a ball mill. So we have a 0.125, that's a 1 8 inch corner radius. So make sure you set it to that. And depth is all preset. So since we're using a ball mill, you're going to have to change that mill on the milling machine. Now you notice it's at a 45 degree angle and you can see the lead radius it picks up, kind of curves, comes back down. So if we preview this thing, we'll simulate this, it looks like that. You can see the 45 degree angle lines in there. Looks kind of cool. But I actually am willing to spend a little bit more time in the milling room watching this thing go. So I'm going to do a second parallel lace. I click the top surface, hit enter twice, but this time I'm going to set it at negative 45 degrees. And everything else is the same, so I don't need to change it. Just click OK. And now you can see it picks it up and it does it the opposite direction. This is going to clean it up quite a bit and it's going to give it a cool crosshatch look. So if we click play on this. And then it picks it up and it does it again. And you can see it's got this crosshatch look it looks a lot cleaner but again it's going to take a little bit longer you don't have to run over it twice if you don't want to um, if you're willing to if you want it to be a smooth on the top and you want to hand sand it uh, you can do that but you don't really need to go more than twice it's not really going to make that big of a difference after you do it two times um, very important to remember though and if I want to go back to these parallel lace options I can just double click it and click OK don't make your step over really much bigger or smaller than this. If you make it bigger, you're cutting too much material out, and it might uh, it might rip your box right out of the clamp. 50% is really risky because you're sometimes you're taking a lot of material out when you do a parallel lace 
uh, it can be pretty deep. So 25% step over is a pretty safe rate for, for pretty much all projects and it doesn't take too long. So I'm going to leave mine like this. I'm going to do the NC code top curve Thomas. So I'm naming it specifically so I can find it because all of you are going to be different. And it already exists because I've already done this. My name, so let's see, Mr. Tizzlewink. And man, there is a lot of code produced in this thing. If we scroll down to the bottom of this, I got 41,000 lines of code. This actually would probably take kind of a while to to actually mill this puppy out. So uh, I'd have to be willing to sit in the milling room for uh, a fair amount of time to do this one. So just again keep that in mind if you want to go through it twice. It may take uh, may take an hour or more. I do not need to have the tool changed, so I can delete this line and I'm going to reset this up to 6,000. And then I just need to go to file and save this as top curve and I'm saving it as Thomas. You can see I've already saved it in here. And then you'll load this in your flash drive and verify it on the computer in the milling room. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to show you how this verifies in CNC in a later tutorial.